bucks. If you got Prime, uh, it works out really better because the shipping is free. Hey everybody, Sam Birch here today and I'm going over the parts for my Friday the 13th Part 8 Jason costume. Uh, almost everything in this costume is handmade by me. Um, a couple parts aren't, but we'll go through that as we go. Um, let's start off with the prop. I got this, uh, it's a uh, fireman, fire axe. I bought it on Amazon for about $28. Not bad looking. Looks really good, really sturdy. It's foam, so you can sit there and kind of hit yourself. But it's pretty good. It's uh, not bad. Uh, ideally what I was looking for because I watched, I rewatched Friday the 13th Part 8 and Jason doesn't really have a main weapon through that movie. So the ideal was to uh, just go with this right here, <laughs> the fire axe. I thought it was pretty neat. It looks just like the one from the video game, close enough. And yes, the head does come off. But it stays on there pretty tight. Like I said, you can get this on Amazon for 28 bucks. Alrighty, if you the, got um, Prime, next part I'm uh, going over with, I'm doing this really layers and pulling this out of my box free. as I go. But next part is the uh, chest area. And that includes the jacket and the underpiece. The reason why there's an underpiece because in part 8, uh, Jason has this like white stomach spot that show, that is visible through it. So I uh, took a tank top, an old tank top of mine, which I really like uh, to say is uh, I took that tank top and I made a latex piece. And if you're wondering how I did that, um, all I did was I had a old uh, tote top and I kind of measured how much I needed. Took some Halloween lake, liquid latex, you know, it comes in that 16 ounce bottle. You know, just layered it out, put some toilet paper to give it the detail. So yeah, if you see some of this detail right here, that's the toilet paper I used to mold it to make it look like what it does. Took a sewing machine and sewed it. One of the problems I had was the edges was a little fragile, so it ripped, but I went back over and re-sewed it. So I wear this tank top, then I put the jacket top on. Um, the jacket top is still a little bit of a work in progress for me. I feel like I need to age it a little bit more, but I like it so far. I basically just sort of just cut it, burn it, to give it the details, the look. Um, over here is the shoulder piece. Ideally right here is where the shoulder piece is. And that's on there on the Friday the 13th costume. One thing I do want to quote before some of these hardcore fans start ripping me a new one is I know that the stomach piece it's supposed to be on this side, but that was a miscalculation. And I only have one of these black dicky tops, and that's what I'm going with. So it's something I'm not too critically upset that I messed up on. But there's the sleeve. I tore it up. Um, everything I everything I based this costume off of was just off the video game, not much. Um, back don't have a whole lot of detail to it. It's something I'm thinking about putting detail on, but I'm not 100%. So, I mean, yeah, there's the front. There it is. It fits me. I, I, I love right. it. So, the next part is the sleeves. So, um, there's um, the front. So, what can I really say? Um, move over to the next The part. sleeves were done the same way as the stomach piece was. It's just more or less, um, I laid I measured out my forearms. Late you know laid the measurement out use latex and toilet paper again these parts took a little bit longer because i had to add more layers for strength due to the fact that i might be constantly taking these on and off but they fit on like regular sleeves i did leave a little bit of a gap on these sides so my hands can go up there easier but i mean they're not bad detail wise um i kind of just did with it because Looking at the Part 8 Jason through the game, his forearms didn't really have much detail. I mean, I just sort of made him look, you know, staggery, messy, you know, just to give it that. And I even rewatched the movie to try to get the detail on the forearms. But really, honestly, that's all it looked like was some, like, latex sleeves with some details on them to make them look non-human. And for the gloves, they're just black gloves, if you're wondering. Just, I just, 
I really honestly just took my Deadpool gloves that I had from my Deadpool costume and threw them on there and kind of went with that. Alrighty, they kind of look so a little bit better, look badass. The next part is obviously um, going to be the anything, uh, pants. Do some Same scenario. Gloves, just took that. some latex, measured out a nice little rectangle to cover this, cut a hole, and boom. Uh, like I said, this time I used toilet paper and I sort of cringed it up to give it that wrinkle look. I mean, there it is. It fits. It floats on my knee, so bending over, kneeling, or anything like that is not a problem. The pants are dicky pants, and I was actually quite happy with this because that's one thing, like, when I try to do costumes, I always try to see if I have any old clothes that I don't use, and these dickies have seen better days because if you look carefully, there's a rip right there, but I did patch it up, but it has rips and tears, and they're old. I've had them for a while, and... So I felt like the natural weathering process would be taken out of time with these being already used, worn, and kind of old. So that works out really well. Um, you're going to notice that a lot of my Jason costumes are made with Dickies. I can't help it. Maybe Dickies will give me a sponsorship. And if you can hear that, that's my goats in the background. I'm outside today. The weather's pretty nice. It's been pretty hot out, so... You'll hear them batting in Alrighty, the background a so lot. The next part there is the uh, mask itself. So here is the uh, Dark Side Studios hood mask. Love the detail, like everything they pay attention to. Kind of rewatched the movie to see if mine was up to detail, and I would say fair as fair it is, pretty good. I got the little jawbone right there. I felt like the detail was done pretty well. Excellent detail, you know paying attention to it like there's the old machete whack to the hood this one's just an open face hood so it doesn't have the you know Jason look on it but as you can see the details there um, there's one thing I want to show you real quick before we jump on the uh, hockey mask the and it's, I'm going to show you how this one thing problem is on is me. it sticks it's the way one off my shoulders as you can see it should sit like this but my neck is so long that this hood literally sits up. That's one problem I had with this hood. It fits right, but it's just one thing is the neck. So if you notice in the video, or in the beginning, where I have my neck, it looks like I'm like sort of like scrunching my shoulders. It's because when I put the um, hood on and the tank top and the jacket, this mask likes to pop out from under there and it doesn't want to sit flush. Um, it's something I have a remedy for, but I'm a little upset that it didn't work out too well, but it's something I worked with and it's all right for what it's worth. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if you're like me and you have a long neck. It's one thing I'm upset with, you know, is an investment that I was hoping would work, but when I got this mask, I realized how small the neck area region was. I can breathe, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, like, All when righty, it sits let's on get me. To the main piece, the hockey mask. Yeah, uh, this hockey mask I bought for like six bucks right off of Amazon. That's the one um, I have. It's like Big Shouts, Scout, Scouts. I'll put it. He's the one that, like, does the painting. He paints hockey masks all the time. And, um,. So, I learned a few tricks from him how to paint this. I did a few details myself. I kind of wanted mine to look a little bit more damaged and battle ridden and not so fresh and new. And I know that the strapping system is not right for the part. It's something that later on down the road when I can get more money and have the time, I'll totally put a new set of straps on here. Just for the time being, I'm sticking with the elastic. But, there's the paint job. All there in its glory. All this was hand painted. Um, I spray painted it black, went over, got some red. I used a dark cherry red for my traveling marks. That's my recommendation. You can sort of see where some of the, I tried to make it look like where some of the paint, like you know, it's like weather. I was really trying to go for that used look, and I think I kind of really did nail it as best as I can. Yeah, just check out all the detail. So, um, this is Sam Burge uh, signing off. And um, next next time I do a cosplay and get it done, I will have a video. Don't know when, but it'll be soon. So, you all have a nice day, and please like.